Andrew Flores asks, I love how you explain the product in full detail. You shall wash a really muddy pickup and do a full-blown detail interior and touchless wash exterior. Well, we're gonna hit two pickup trucks this week, not just one, and they're black. Let's see how these things turn out. What are you doing? Are you real camera shy there? <laughs> camera shy. Yeah, you yes. too? Oh, yep. God. Use up the, uh, the foam cannons there. We're gonna go full on touchless. You know how the routine goes. We got our ready to use stars and stripes here. We'll just top off our cannons. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have Chris's girlfriend pre-rinse half of this thing. And then Chris is gonna not pre-rinse the other half. We're gonna see if there's a difference there at all. I'm kinda curious. So we have a lot of stuff to work with here. This is an awesome opportunity to experiment because black shows everything. There it is. All right, okay, you're up first. You rinse. Squeeze the trigger and hold on tight. So now we're gonna hit up the other side with the two steps. Bottom up? Yeah, bottom top. You know, start strip, uh, stars first and stripes. Okay. Alrighty, here we go. So right now we're drying this thing off, see what we got. We're gonna look at it 50-50 with no soap on the left side, but soap on the right side. So here's the pre-rinse with no soap. Wow, holy moly. Check out the other side here where we put on the soap straight over the mud. It's a little better. Yeah. All right, so now we gotta just foam down this side. So Kayla, that's you. We gotta fill up with <laughs> foam cannons. We'll hit the passenger side now and we'll see how that comes out. And then we'll just see how they compare, you know, see the value of pre-rinsing, you know? Man. <laughs> what a difference. Look at that. One dude reviewed this stuff the other day. He told me he gives it 50 stars and 13 stripes. <laughs> Good night. I don't know if it's all the way in. It's gotta it be. might be. Maybe it is. Maybe you got, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh my God, this is heavy. So yeah, so you press this button here for the first pass and that'll spray this. You coat everything with this. And then when you're done coating it with that, you hit this red button. And then that'll coat, go right over it with this one. Okay. And then you'll be all set. We'll rinse it off real good. Okay. All right. Fair. Have fun. <laughs> oh, it in. There it is. That's okay.
business. Let's get down to business. Let's go to let's get let's get down to business. So we haven't gotten to the after shots yet. We brought Aaron from Attention to Detail over and he's taking a look at this situation. So last year, me and uh, Chris were hanging out and then we decided to try our hand at buffing and uh, well, it didn't turn out too good. We swirled the heck out of this thing. Look at this. So there's a lot going on here. We'll get back to this. We did not do great. So we have Aaron here from Attention to Detail. Aaron's gonna help us out with the uh, correction of our mistakes. Yeah, it's not all that bad. I've seen worse, believe it right, or not. All right, good, good. So, believe it or not, so when you guys buffed it, a lot, of, a lot of that's really fine. We call that like micro marring or haze. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that happens a lot of times when you cut with like a really heavy cut pad, you're going to get that. Or when you use a rotary polisher, um, you know, what, what would be worse would be like deep scratches. That's, I would be concerned. But this stuff, it should come out fairly easy. All right, cool. You know? I mean, I've corrected way worse than that. This is the flashlight that Chris hates. <laughs> oh my God. This, this is a lot of... Why, when it went crazy there. See the trails of the buffer there? Yep. We call those buffer trails. You can see it's the path you took with the buffer there. Oh yeah, and you can see how we were rushing. We're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we went straight over this thing with stars and stripes on this side, and it's pretty decent, but it needs a little more. I'm gonna give it a little more love. On the other side, we did pre-rinse, and then we put the soap on there. The key is in the rinsing, you know, how hard you hit it. I'll get into this a little more tomorrow, but there's a, a big difference in the rinse uh, impact, so like, we gotta hit this thing a little harder before we buff it out. Chris's pickup truck came out pretty good. This thing is pretty decent on both sides, whether I pre-rinsed or not. So we'll see what it looks like in the morning. I'll give it a little more attention then, and we'll take it all the way. All right, I'm back at it. Here's what we, where we left it. So I'm gonna get Kay's truck here tuned up 100%. But I wanna show you the difference between rinsing the right way and the wrong way. Now, they, they listened to my input. They rinsed from the bottom to the top, but I never thought about the concept of rinsing from the bottom to the top this way and then moving to the side. What I do when I rinse to the bottom, from the bottom to the top is I rinse left to right and I aim down because I'm not looking to just I'm not looking to drive the dirt upwards. I use the foam as a gauge so that I can see where I was because the pressure is a huge part of how much of a result you're gonna get. You wanna stay nice and close and you wanna not miss a spot. Now let me show you why. Look at the difference from right here to right here. The power washer fan went right up here and then went right up here. So what these soaps do is they shock the static bond on the surface of the vehicle loose so that the power washer can clean it and that's why it's so important to rinse from the bottom up when you're doing this process same thing would happen as this if you rinse from the top down because all of the soap would just run off and you would have nothing left to gauge where you are and that's that's a fail because everything looks good wet everyone knows that you can't see this kind of drama until it's dry and then it's kind of like oh i wasted my time you know what i mean so it's super hypercritical, especially when you're doing black vehicles that are really dirty, to rinse very thoroughly, moving left to right, 
working your way upwards into the foam and make sure you don't blast all the foam off because you need that so you know where you were. Now let's take a look over here at Chris's side. His is much better, but he was also running in the same way. So, you know, there's still spots where the pressure didn't get right here. I did my thing on Chris's truck, which was almost as dirty and it's, it's not perfect, but it is pretty good. This is having done the, the uh, bottom up rinse, nice close contact, working left to right upwards. And there's, there's really not a noticeable difference on this paint where I, where I touch it versus where I don't. Now I did the same thing on the other side where I did the same exact test. So the passenger side got a pre-rinse and there wasn't really an advantage. You know, I just spent more time, used more water. So there is a, there is a point where you want to pre-rinse. I mean, if it's real thick, then you might as well. If you have like two inches of mud, then you would, and, and like, you know, there was spots that had that on there. Knock that stuff off, but don't worry about rinsing the whole thing. Unless, you know, maybe you might want to pre-rinse if you are washing outside and you're in the sunlight and you want to kind of try and cool it off a little bit first. I mean, that's certainly worthwhile. Uh, but I did not see any difference in quality one side versus the other myself. All right, so before Aaron gets here tomorrow to do the buffing on this, I'm going to do my interior detail on Kay's truck. So this thing has uh, got some grime. I'm going to bust out my Bissell thing and get the seats real good. Got some good grime to work with, man. Oh, this is going to be a blast. All right, let's get into it. Detailing Kyle on TikTok, I was just watching this video here. He put his detail factory brush in his drill. A quick work of this dash here. Interior work, dude. I'm working on it. I mean, <laughs> this is the last door I'm do I'm working okay. on right now. I see. It's kind of curious what you do for the door jams, because like, yeah. you know, all this stuff here, but specifically around the hinges and all that stuff. I was curious, like, how you get it done. Yeah, a lot of times, like from the manufacturer, it comes greased with like lithium grease or whatever. Right. Yeah. So I try not to disturb that too much, but right. uh, most of the time I'll get in there with the greaser. Okay. You know, and then I can I can blast it out with either a pressure washer if you're careful, or some towels, wipe it away. That looks acceptable to me, so <laughs> you know that'll pass. That's pretty cool, man. You'd be surprised. A lot of detailers don't even do the door jams. I, really? I do that for customers. People are like, you did the door jams? So I'm like, yep. And they're like, I've never had that done before. I'm I like, can't oh. imagine not doing the door jams. Yeah, that's the first thing you see when you open the door. You know? <laughs> that's so crazy. How can yeah. you not do the door jam? All right, we're gonna rinse this thing off and get the mud off of there and make sure it's 100% ready for buffing. We don't want to be buffing the mud around that's yeah, left so over. Yeah. <laughs> if you want, like on the roof, we can kind of go like this, yeah. which might be useful. Coming down on it, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, rather than, I'm normally at the pistol grip, but I'm trying to stand yeah, yeah, by yeah. tippy toes. Yeah, squeeze. Keep a squeeze? Go for it, man. Right. Hold on tight, it's gonna launch upwards. Get this 
super smooth on this level. So that's actually that a have a struggle? That's like, a Q fitting. So like smooth. these are the these are the best, man. Yeah. So it's a disconnect. If you want to go like this or like that or like well, this. Like check this out. So like normal QC fittings are these ones here, right? Yeah. That's the kind you have. Yeah. And these lock down when they're under pressure. Exactly. Yeah. So they don't move around. But these don't and they're like crazy durable. Look at the freaking Oh, oh yeah, it's way different. So that goes way in, and the, the difference is that this does not sit against the O-ring. It gotcha. sits within the O-ring. Ah, so the O-ring goes over there, around It goes the, around the this ends. instead of against the end. I see. What happens is the Q-fittings, as you beat them out, uh -huh. they get... I smoke so many Q-fittings. Yeah, you, you get, you, they beat up real quick. Yeah. So these don't do that. They're a few more dollars, but they're it's way... Worth it. And you don't have any flex. Do they this have is, that too for uh, hose? Is there, is there like a... You have one on there. That's a high pressure swivel right here. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So even though this is under this is under uh, thirty five hundred psi right now, yeah. And there's no no reason. Yeah, no. I mean, it was it was really nice. You just hook it straight up to the gun and it'll take about 10 seconds for the soap to start coming out. So it knows that, can oh, you it, switch it? Oh, it knows. It's so basically a PSI shift, you know, like a downstream injector. I see. But it, instead of dropping it all the way to zero, it drops it to like a little under a thousand. I got you. And what's nice about these injectors is they cut for you with a ratio tip system. That's pretty so cool. So it's, it's set to 100 parts water, 1%. So you're not switching switches? No, you just squeeze the trigger, man. That's pretty cool. This truck's pretty bad, so it's gonna take a while. Yeah. 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 This isn't done yet, but it's pretty close. There's a couple defects I'm gonna hit, but that compared to this, uh, it's a nightmare. Yeah, I mean, yeah, just to make it all, you know, look like that. Salvador Cavillo says, is it safe for those matte black finish rims? So, I assume he's talking about heavy duty. Uh, I'm gonna try it out. Last time I messed up this truck, these people were pretty cool about it. Let's see what happens here. Now, one thing I noticed is that um, these rims are a little faded looking already. So, I don't know what's gonna happen here or if they'll clean up nice or not. But at least we can see if it makes them any worse, you know? Alrighty. So I got a couple of different things here. Spoke brush, drill brush. I think the drill brush will work good on these larger openings. This one will work better on the smaller ones. Uh, I really think, you know, any soap and some agitation, I guess, would help. I was asking Aaron the other day, yesterday actually, while he was buffing this thing out, what would he do? And he said, any soap and a little light agitation should be good. He just thinks you'd want to stay away from any acidic products, you know, like my M Shine stuff, for example, being a low pH, you might not want to use that on matte black rims. At least you wouldn't want to let it dry, you know, because matte black, I think, is pretty touchy. Let's spray this thing down and see what we can do. I'm going to use this cyclone bone as well. A little sponge. 
I would imagine as with any soaps, you know, the main thing on these is probably not to let it dry. I want to see if uh, Aaron has any of those agitator uh, called barrel brushes. My buddy Big Pete just told me about one of these, but they help you get behind into the back of these things. I could reach in here with this one. I feel like it's dangerous, you know, I feel like it's going to scratch up the rim a little bit. I think that's Aaron. These are the moments when things dry. How we doing? I'm well, here. Hello, come on in. We're back again. How are you guys doing? Good. Hello, Bob, how are you? This is my nice boy, Joe. There's a lot of work left. <laughs> yeah. I just got going on this wheel. I don't want to let it dry. Yeah, no, do what you got to do. Do you have one of those uh, barrel brushes? Yeah, you want to use it? Yeah. Oh, yeah I, got I just bought one, but you know, it's Amazon. It'll be, you know. Yeah, seven days. Yeah. <laughs> Amazon Prime, seven days. Yeah. <laughs> I have this one for you. Oh, there we go. Um, but I have like, I don't know if my, my employee might have like uh, moved it on me. Usually I keep them all. Oh, the only thing, I want. yeah, it gets you dirty. Cause I think they gotta make that bigger. Cause when you pull out, it like flips the bristles. And oh, all and the it shit sprays gets, at you? Yeah, exactly. Oh, we got toys. Here we go. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's dirty. Yeah. Oh yeah. Dude, these things definitely do fling right back at you. Oh, you weren't right, kidding. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. It's like <laughs> they put that little seal there, but it's, if they made it much bigger, that, it that would help. help. Yeah, that would help a lot. It looks better than that. Yeah, it looks blacker. That's what you want. Remember how they were kind of white and faded, and you were like, "Huh, oh, it looks like somebody already did this." Right. That one, it looks black and dark. I think you got good results. Well, I was wondering if we would make any good progress or not, but this came out pretty good. It almost got that chalkiness, whatever it was, out of there, it almost seems like. Exactly. Wheel woolly thing worked out pretty well. So, I mean, it seems all right on mat wheels. Like with anything, I tell people, use it in a small spot, you know, test it in a small, tiny spot. See if you're happy. Cool. Good job. <laughs> yeah. You want a job? Yeah, there you go. Well, if this Chemex thing don't work out, dude, I'll hook you up. <laughs> Let's make this exhaust tip look like new again. I'm gonna use this abrasive pad to get this done. And I got my foaming pump sprayer. This is gonna be awesome for applying the M Shine aluminum and chrome cleaner. Just put a bunch of it in there. The more you mix in, the harder it'll work. Pump it. Move it all up in there. This thing's fine on chrome, but don't use it on polished aluminum. Too scratchy. You'll know it's still got work to do if it's making a little more noise where you're scrubbing. <laughs> oh my, what's this gonna look like? Well, that water is no longer pure, unholy water, man. Yeah, let's rinse this thing off, see what we got. Nice. That's what I like to see right there. I'm gonna tackle the inside of this thing now. This is gonna be fun. I can't wait to do this because it's been six years since this thing was, was touched by a detailer or anybody. It has not been clean. Oh yeah. <laughs> that other one was just a warm up for this. Look at that. Oh. I don't know if that's dirty or made that way. I think that's dirty. I think there's a treasure in here. Look at that. It's 25 cents. This may be my payment for the work. It's that sparkly stuff. <laughs> I think this side's even dirtier in a weird way. Wow. So I'm gonna use my interior cleaner straight up just to get these done. I'll do that first before I sit in them. And then I'm gonna use my heavy duty APC for all this stuff. And uh, I don't know, maybe shop back out the residue. I'm not too proud. There we go. Get my camera angles in here, get my light in here, and we get busy. The magic juice right here. Put the eraser to this six years of neglect here. I almost wonder if a detailing brush would be helpful. Heck, I'd use a drill brush on this. 
Yeah, that's all coming right out. Look at that, huh? <laughs> wow. How's that for a 50-50? Yeah, let's go up the back here for fun. Yo, Aaron, I want to see an you know, actual reaction from an actual detailer. I'm just curious what you would think, because you know what you're doing. All right, we're going to get a real detailer's reaction to this thing. Over here. Let's see this. Dude, look at this. Look at this. That's great work. Dude. Wow, that's crazy, huh? <laughs> you can see, what is that, six years of grind? Six years, 50-50. I mean, that's that's a good 50-50 shot. Oh my God, yeah. That's crazy, though. Wow. And that's just uh, your interior cleaner? Yeah, that's the interior cleaner and rack. Yeah, no. I'm surprised you got that good with a rack, man. I know, right? But so. no, for just a towel, man, and not being a detailer, <laughs> that's some good work. <laughs> I'm gonna hire you. <laughs> What's your hourly rate? Heck man, that's worth sitting in now. Let's clean the last six years off this Pabst Blue Ribbon gear knob shifter thing. Bam. A little Boris hair brush action here. <laughs> oh my God. I feel like I'm gonna have to take a shower after cleaning this thing. I feel like I need a steamer. <laughs> Would I drink out of it? No, but you know. Nice. All right, start with the steering wheel thing. I start with the steering wheel because it's like in my face. It's like right here. You know what I mean? It feels kind of like I want to uh, clean the things that are closest to my person. I don't want to get myself dirty. Hey. So this is the interior cleaner, leather scented. I think Chris will like this. And uh, it's just a really good cleaner and it leaves a little bit of a rejuvenated kind of oily shine there, but it's not slippery. You don't want it to be slippery. You want it to be, you know, it's a hazard, man. You don't want your steering wheel to slip out of your hand. You know what I mean? Same thing with your gas pedal, brake pedal. You want grip on that. And that's what this stuff is. It's grippy, but it's shiny. Mildly shiny. It's just kind of, just kind of nice. It looks fresh. And that's what you want. The steering wheel just dripped on my leg. Ugh. Brush turning brown. This thing wiped off. <laughs> oh, baby. One trick with this stuff, if you're doing the windshield and you don't want to get the smudginess of this on the glass, spray the rag first. That's what they call a pro tip. I'm cleaning the glass anyway, you know. <laughs> yeah, this thing's gonna clean up nice. Get all up in there. This thing's a mess. I'm gonna make quick work out of it though. I just want to get it, get it clean, get it out of here. I put way too much time into these ones. I gotta get on to the next one tomorrow morning. Got a big tractor trailer coming in here. Smooth side aluminum trailer, tractor, Kenworth I think, coming in in the morning. So these need to wrap up, man. This will be the first time Chris has ever seen his truck clean. So that's gonna be fun. I can't wait. Be clean. Find a little bit of dwell time with this. This stuff helps. <laughs> kind of grease. Let's see if we can get it. Well, it ain't perfect, but it's um, not bad. Let's try this out. <laughs> Woo! There we go. Breaking out the power tools. Put it on here too. It's going nuts here. Go crazy. This reminds me of making a milkshake. Yeah. Like a chocolate milkshake. God, there's a socket in here. Oh, dang, that's how it's done. Final steps, baby, final steps. The diamond microfiber. This stuff's a good cleaner, honestly.
not gonna air it. He's like, you know, some detailers don't hit the jams. I'm like, what? Are you kidding me? You think I hit your jams? I'm not a detailer if you don't hit your jams. I'm not even a detailer and I am hitting the jams. What the heck? That's crazy talk. <laughs> Can you imagine? I'm using this stuff. This is the detailer spray. I was using the heavy duty on the jams. And then I realized, you know, I'm not really leaving any protection behind and it is leaving residue behind. That's why I was rinsing it with water. This stuff, you know, you put it on, it hazes like a minute later and then you buff it and it's, it buffs easy, easier than heavy duty was. I mean, I mean, obviously I was rinsing heavy duty at the end there and that was working fine, but this leaves a little bit of protection, which I like. So I'm using this in the jams at this point. I think it's gonna do a little better job. And leave a little more of a slippery finish, you know. Keep it clean longer. Get them jams. All right, so I gotta do this. I'm gonna do this on the whole exterior of the whole thing because uh, it needs it, you know. It's not gonna look like uh, uh, Kay's car after what Aaron did, but I gotta do something to get him tuned up as much as I can anyway. So let's get on the outside. The thing I like to do before I spray detailer on the outside of the vehicle is juice the tires. This stuff tends to get everywhere and then I can at least wipe off the excess as I'm hitting the detailer spray. I'll tell you what, it ain't gonna look like Kay's truck over there, but it'll look pretty good. So like I always say, stick to this stuff here, level it out with the application microfiber, and then you let it haze. Let it haze, and then you come back and you buff it. I like to use the Eagle Edgeless from the Rag Company for that. The Eagle Edgeless. Not bad. Sometimes after the wash, you get a couple spots, you know, a couple spots. And things drip down, got all over what you just cleaned. And that's what this stuff helps with. It's real nice. Haze, man. Oh, yeah. Just a little bit. This was a lot of fun, man. Uh, I, had really cool, yeah. I had a blast. I had a blast. I think this is going to be a lot of fun. We'll love, love. Take care, guys. Take care. Later. See you next time. Yes, All right, Chris and Kay just got here to pick these trucks up. These things have really never been cleaned before. Even Kay's truck, this is the first time it's been detailed. So I'm amped to see this. Let's see what they do. Are you looking through the freaking door? You looking through the crack in the door for real? <laughs> All right, you guys ready? Holy shit. <laughs> oh my goodness. What do you guys think, huh? I don't even want to ride them. <laughs> Aaron did a killer job. I mean, he went way, way above and beyond. I think he did as good a job as he possibly could do, honestly. Wow. You even did the tunnel cover? Yeah. That looks better than I bought it. <laughs> yeah, it definitely. <laughs> yeah, this was the spot. You remember this spot right here? Oh my God. It's mint now, man. Right? Unbelievable. The reflection of this thing is so cool. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Holy this thing crap. came out good. That Super looks fresh. nice. Yeah, and this thing, man, look at these tailpipes, dude. Yeah, those were, that's amazing. Tires look good, too. Yeah, those I just used the heavy duty on them, and then I used the uh, tire and trim dressing on them. Holy shit. <laughs> 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 they're gray. They are, they're gray. You didn't even know. You thought they were tan, didn't you? Yeah. Well, it was dirty when I bought it, too. Right. So. Yeah, dude, this truck is sweet. Oh, this is black.
Yeah, the floor is black, dude. <laughs> Even your PBR shifter is cleaned up. Yeah, that was uh, that was also black. Yeah, yeah, a shade of blackish brown. <laughs> yeah, this thing wow. came out mint, man. I'm psyched. I was actually once I was done with this thing, I was like, wow. Very nice. <laughs> I almost feel bad for you for having to clean this thing. <laughs> Wait, I missed one. <laughs> oh, I'm excited to sit in here now. <laughs> right? Check out the cup holders. I mean, you probably can't see them I from over there. <laughs> You're able to get in there, huh? I was, I was using the step stool. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, these came out clean. I actually took these boots off and like got in there. I found one of your sockets, Chris. Oh, sweet. Yeah. <laughs> You yeah. got the spider that was sitting here for like, Yep. that was two years? Yeah, it was definitely, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it just becomes invisible. Oh my God. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> this looks better than when I bought it. I'm so glad Aaron did a really good job. Yeah, no, honestly. Did a killer job. I mean, I'm like literally filming you through the truck right now and you can't even tell. <laughs> I think next time we do Chris's truck and we won't touch yours, we'll leave yours alone. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, we'll try our hand with some better uh, buffing tools and better compounds. Maybe a little guidance from Aaron. And when it rains, <laughs> you're taking the Jeep. <laughs> Detailers don't detail their jams, man. Really? <laughs> On to the next one. <laughs> 